Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we have an Acer disassembly. Here we have on the edge where the hinge started coming apart. So we'll be disassembling and repairing at the same time. So what we want to do is flip it over flat on a solid base. So now go ahead and release the battery. We don't want anything shorting out or any kind of electrical issues. Place it to the side right here. Then right here in the center, this is the hard drive door. Take all those screws out the center as well as the screws around the edges holding the base together. Pop the door off, set it to the side, and make sure you got all the screws out the center around the edges. Let's pop this hard drive out. Sometimes they stick so I use a screwdriver to pry it out. Pop it out like that. Then just set it to the side. Good job. So now let's flip it over. Open it up. It is time to remove the keyboard. So right here, right here, and right here, and right here, you have some pings that you have to push up to release the keyboard. After pressing those pings up, slide your card and wedge it at the top to relieve pressure off of that keyboard. After loosening the keyboard, uh, be careful not to pull up on it too fast because there's a ribbon attached. So let's release the ribbon and set it to the side, as well as the power ribbon. Oh, almost forgot the mouse ribbon. Pull from the side at the top and voila, comes right off. After lining your hinges up, set something behind it so that it relieves pressure and keep it sturdy. Now normally I would use a hot glue gun, but today I'm using super glue to help these hinges. Dab some down like that and then press the hinge down. And then we're going to be soaking it on top as well. Don't be bashful with the glue. The more the better. Let it sit for about 15 to 25 minutes. And now it's time to put it back together. Don't forget to connect all your ribbons and put all screws back in place as we took it apart. Well, I hope you enjoyed this disassembly. Uh, go down below, hit that subscribe button, comment, leave your thoughts, and, and tell me other videos that you'd like to see me do in the future.